Now we are in the position to summarize the characteristics of electric charges. Okay, so 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 the number one that we have seen is that the electric field line originate from the positive charge. and terminate at the negative charge they originate from the positive charge and terminate at the negative charge but what if there is a single charge in case of a positive charge of a single positive charge of a single positive charge what happens the field lines originate at the positive charge and they terminate at infinity the field lines originate at the positive charge and terminate at infinity it seems they have gone on uh, on a search for the negative charge and since they cannot find it anywhere, they, they, they have gone to the extent of moving to infinity in search of it. You may think like that. Okay. In case of a single negative charge, of a single negative charge, okay, the, the field lines originate from infinity originate from infinity and end at and end at at the negative charge okay in case of a single negative charge they they seem to be originating from infinity that means we can we can think as if the positive charge resides at infinity it is still originating from a positive charge and terminating at the single negative charge right now the the second thing that we saw is that in a charge free region in a charge free region there are no breaks there are no breaks in the in the electric field lines okay we see there was a positive charge, it keeps on going till infinity, right? Keeps on. Continues its journey without any break. No? No breaks. But if there was a positive here and a negative here, it seems to have gone and terminated on the negative. It seems to have originated from here, gone and terminated on to the negative originated from here gone and terminated on to the negative and and from here why why do i say so because, because though there are these field lines but their direction is absolutely different okay their direction is different okay so 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 this forms the break but if there is no charge for example this if if if, if we if we talk about this 
then this field line will have no break it it will continue like that there are no discontinuities as long as it does not encounter another charge as long as it does not encounter another charge so it continues just continues like that continues like that okay so so in a charge free region there are no breaks in the electric field fine <clears throat> now another another thing that we saw is that the that the electric field lines never seem to be intersecting they never seem to be intersecting and actually they do not so the electric field lines do not intersect at any point so so you'll never find that a uh, that, that that a line is going like this and another line line is coming like this and they'll intersect now there is a there is a there is a reason to it and we prove it by contradiction by the method of contradiction what does it what does the method of contradiction say it says that you you assume what you are saying cannot happen so i am saying they, they they cannot intersect but i'll assume that they intersect let us say they intersect fine the two lines they intersect here okay so so what will happen we have just said that the direction of the electric field at any point is given by the tangent to the curve now this intersection point has two tangents one points in this direction right the other tangent points in this direction so which direction should we be taking for the electric field it seems that the electric field is not decided okay it's not kind of confident about what direction it is pointing in and that never happens this never happens at any point for whatever configuration of charge you will always have a uniquely determined direction and magnitude of the electric field for a static configuration of charge okay because at a point you you will be doing what you will be doing vector sum of all the fields and that has to point in one direction it cannot point in two directions right there may be 100 vectors that you are summing up but it will the resultant the ultimate resultant will have to be one vector and it will remain static in time why because the charges are static their magnitudes are the same they do not change their positions so it just cannot have two vectors the resultant at any point cannot have have can, or, or cannot be expressed in form of two vectors not possible absolutely not possible so this intersection thing cannot occur technically understand so 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 we write the they do not intersect at any point for if they did for if they did the electric field at any point the electric field at any point will point in two directions okay this is not possible for a static configuration for a static configuration of charges since the resultant of of 
of multiple vectors is always a single vector. Okay. Okay. Now, the fourth one. The electric field lines will not form a closed loop. Will form a closed loop. This comes from the this comes from the from the conservative nature of conservative nature of the electric field. We'll understand more about it in the second chapter, but a conservative field is one in which, in which if you move a charge, okay, the work done in a closed loop is zero. This we have done in class 11th and you'll understand more of it if you go to the conservative field definition in, in, a, in the class 11th mechanics, right? So electric field is also a conservative field. So it is not possible for it to form a closed loop. Okay. It is not possible for it to form a closed loop. Let me, let me give you some glimpse of it. Why? One of the definitions of, of this conservative field is that if you move from one place to another, the work done is absolutely independent of the path taken. The work done is, is independent of the path taken. So you go through path number one or path number two or path number three, the work done is the same. Now it has a connotation. Suppose the work done in going from here to here is W. From here to here also it will be W. From here to here also it will be W. Now what will be the work done in going from B to A along path 3? The work done becomes negative. Correct? If I go like that. So what is the work done in going from A to B? and then back from B to A. What is the work done? The work done becomes zero. Okay, the work done becomes zero. That is the, that is the nature of a conservative field. Okay, so, so in a conservative field, in a conservative field, the work done is is independent of independent of path and depends on and depends on on the end points only and depends on the end points only and, and, and the fallout of that, I'm not saying this is an independent definition. The, it is the fallout of this, as we saw here, that the work done in a closed loop, work done in, in a closed loop should be, is zero. It is zero. Okay. Now, suppose the electric field was like this. Let us see. Okay, this is your electric field. So if I start with the charge Q, here it will be 
it will be it will be feeling a force in this direction and that force will be equal to to q into e okay okay now now try to understand suppose i am the external agency and and i'm and i i see that this charge is being forced in this direction and the force applied on this is qe what i do i apply a force slightly infinitesimally greater than qe in the opposite direction so in this direction i apply a force in this direction i apply a force in in this direction that is infinitesimally greater than qe so what happens i'll have an infinitesimal acceleration in this direction though though that will take me an infinite amount of time but let us for let us say hypothetically we say that we are doing that and and that much time has elapsed and with that i complete the circle so i go all the way like this 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 and come here okay now what happens i move in a small direction in the in in, in, in uh, i i move a small distance in the same direction in which i have applied the force and this i do for every point of the circle so what happens in fact i have been work done by external agency work done by external agency which is me in this case external agency around the loop around the loop is equal to f which is qe and which seems to be a constant here because because this line has a has say a constant e f into into 2 pi r right if if this is the the radius r i have applied a force f and f is qe into 2 pi r so what happens i have done some work in completing a circle and this says work done in a closed loop is zero so what happens there cannot be a closed loop for an electric field we get that proof so there cannot be if 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 it is closed then it cannot be conservative and if it is conservative it cannot be closed because then i'll be doing some work in in going all the way from here and coming back to the same point and in a loop in a loop a conservative field cannot have a work done the work done in a closed loop has to be zero so it is due to this reason that the electric field is not not a closed loop fine